Now we're going to talk about square roots, and when you take the square root of a number, the result might be a rational number or it might be an irrational number. And we'll start by looking at rational square roots, which is the easier of the two cases. So first, what is a square root? Well, the square root of a number is the, the number that when squared would give us the original number. So for example, 5 squared, we know what that means, 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. So since 5 squared is 25, that means the square root of 25 is 5. So square rooting is the inverse of squaring. Now also note this. Note that negative 5 squared is also 25. Because if we multiply negative 5 times negative 5, the two negatives multiplied together give us a positive. So negative 5 squared is also 25. So it's also correct to say that the square root of 25 is not only 5, it's negative 5 as well. And when you're asked to find the square root of a number, you should, as a general rule, give two answers. In many cases, there will be a positive square root and a negative square root. So for example, if you were asked, what is the square root of negative 16, you could write negative 4 or positive 4. And we would typically write that like this. We would write plus or minus 4. And this notation is used to indicate both answers simultaneously, the positive and the negative. What is the square root of 100? Well, it would be 10 or negative 10. And we would write it like this, plus or minus 10. Now let's take a look at the notation. This symbol is called a radical symbol and the radical symbol is used to represent positive square roots. So if you want to say this, the square root of 81, that means 9. And it specifically doesn't mean a negative 9. The radical symbol indicates the positive square root. Now we know the number 81 has two square roots. If we want to refer to both of them, then we could say plus or minus the square root of 81, and that would be plus or minus 9. So just remember that that symbol typically refers to the positive square root. You should also note that whenever a number is squared, the result is a positive number. So 6 squared is equal to 36, and negative 6 squared is also equal to 36. So squaring a real number will never result in a negative number. You can square a positive number or a negative number. The result is positive every single time you can never square something and get a negative number. It follows from this that negative numbers do not have real square roots, and I'll write that down. And if you're taking notes on the printed page, you can write that in the notes there. Negative numbers do not have real square roots. And by real, I mean real numbers. There are no real numbers that are the square roots of negative numbers. So if you try to compute, for example, if you try to calculate the square root of negative 4 and you punch that into the calculator, it will probably give you an error of some kind. And we'll take a look at this on the calculator. Here's a TI calculator and you see the squared key down here. And the second function on the squared key is the square root. So if we hit second and then punch that key, we get a little square root symbol. And if I type negative 4, and I like to hit the close parentheses, although the calculator doesn't require it, and I hit enter, it says error, non-real answer. There isn't a real number that is the answer to that square root of negative 4. So a quick summary here of what we've looked at so far. All positive real numbers have two square roots. one positive and one negative. Negative real numbers have no square roots. And the only, uh, the only thing that's different is zero. Zero has one square root. And specifically, you can probably tell, the square root of zero is simply zero. Now let's take a look at the squares of the first several whole numbers. 1 squared is obviously 1. 
2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and I'm just going to go through these, but you should know all of these. If you don't know these, learn them. Learn them now. You should memorize all of these. Being able to recall these quickly and accurately will help you solve more complicated problems involving square roots down the road. So let's just run through these, and any of these that you don't know, take the time to learn these now. 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and 6 squared is 36. And most of these smaller numbers you're probably already familiar with. 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, 10 squared is 100, 11 squared is 121, and 12 squared is 144. And there's another column here. I'm going to scroll to the right. Okay, 13 squared is 169. 14 squared is 196. And 15 squared is 225. And of course, you could learn higher than that uh, as many as you want to. But those, those show up fairly commonly, especially the smaller numbers. And you should know all of those.